side, right? Oh. He's heading straight at it. Look at him. <laughs> oh, you're a cheeky boy. Well, aren't you a little fancy poop? What about me? What about you? I'm holding a camera. <laughs> Find out if my shoe goo holds on my boots. Oh, that stuff is cold. I had a pretty good leak. Say hi, Rich. Hi. <laughs> There's the yarrow patch over there. I was just going to tell Rich, be careful you don't go down a hole. Don't be too cocky. <laughs> yeah, look at the hole. I didn't think it would be you. Yeah, well, I know, cause I'm holding a camera. Oh, I found a found hole, too. So we're going over there to the yarrow patch to harvest about a year's worth. It's not like an abundance of it for a year, but I typically only take yarrow tea when I'm not feeling right. So it lasts... Here it is. So if they're small, should we leave them? Hey there, I'm Jared Fenwick, and this is Nomadic Oasis, and I'm just going to pick some yarrow. So this is what I'm picking. So we just pick a lot of this for tea. It's like a medicinal tea. I'm going to try to show you my harvesting strategy. So these things need to propagate. So they have to pollinate with each other. And as usual, the bigger the flower, the more healthy and viable the specimen is. And that's the kind that we want to come up next year. So we want those big ones to propagate. So we're not going to cut all the big ones. Probably going to jiggle a lot. So I don't want to take more than half of these, no matter what. And I want to make sure that I leave some of the biggest ones. So there's another reason as well. 
and the number of tiny little insects that live on these things is amazing. Maybe I'll try to stick that in. Like when you're drying these things out, the amount of bugs that go running off them is pretty dramatic. So we're going to try to keep the bug life uh, from being depopulated when we do this. Okay, so there's a here's a cluster here. So I'll try to leave some big ones. You want to take them when the flowers are the the nicest open full flowers. Okay, so this one is prime. This one's prime. But that one looks like it's on the way down. So, I wonder if you can. Might have to go in the sunshine. Anyway, this one doesn't look super good. That one does look good. So, we're just going to leave some of the ones that are past prime and take the best. Okay, so here's a good one. Uh, that's like a pretty much a hundred percent in the prime condition. So that one's unflowered. That one's just opening and just opening. Uh, some of these may be passed. Yeah, so this is July 8th. I think we're having a bit of a late season. But these peak out in summer. So the poundage is best when you pick the flowers. Oh, oh my goodness. See this little patch of rocks right here? Uh, I did a cook fire there. You can see the carnage I left. Pretty much nothing. I just put some stones down there to minimize the the scorched earth that happens under a fire. So it doesn't really look like I did much damage there. Uh, one year later. So I'm going to take this one, this one, and leave these. Take a few of these and then leave those ones. So I'll take this one, this one, and leave that one. And of course, the little ones. We might come back here one more time and see if we can get some of the late ones. Okay, here's a, here's a patch of small ones. So this patch, there's a lot of unformed ones, so I'm just going to take a few. I just pulled that one up by the roots because I didn't cut it very clean. So they've cleaned out their patches. Not this is This might have been the best patch, or the most dense, not the biggest. <laughs> I guess you. <laughs> My mom grabbed a bee by the fingers by accident.
There's a good patch of uh, leaves. So the leaves do the same job as the flowers, but it takes longer to pick to get the same mass because you pick them individual based on uh, how green they are. So I'm not taking this one since it's got yellow and this one looks really green. So I'm just sticking my fingernail and sort of slicing it with my nail. Uh, two weeks ago probably would have been the best time to pick the leaves since they kind of max out on uh, how vibrant they are, like their health. Here's a good patch. selective when you're picking these because they're medicine so if you take in something that's not healthy and full of health uh, the benefits not as much and certainly the flavor is not as good so for medicinal value you just want to try to find it at its very peak it's not that hard to do Kind of like picking lettuce out of your garden. You leave the biggest outside leaves alone. You leave off the youngest leaves so that they can continue to propagate and get big. And you pick the healthiest siding on the on young rather than mature because the growth pattern is uh, is biggest when they're young and then they s they slow down their growth and then they get more bitter uh, the bitterness in yarrow is kind of what you're looking for though so. anyway, oh my goodness somebody lit a beach fire over there a really big one. Maybe a brush pile or something. I can't smell it yet because the wind is coming a bit of a sideways. It's probably wood smoke though. eating those bees yeah i've been eating the little balls on them and well they that's taste... the ones that you were looking at that, that were bigger yeah they taste exactly like um, you know when you pull a piece of hay out and you eat the bottom it tastes just like that i can see what okay. the deer is like it's great it's like, yeah. here's what the deer like it looks like a variant of plantain you can just see them going along the top of the beach strip mining them off you know kids we would always pull the inside of the wheat straw out yeah. and then bite the white end off. And my old boots. I've had these for 20 years and they still have yeah, I cut kind of a hole in one of the chance on crash it. So you can get it <laughs> yeah, I had a hole in my boot but I gooped it and it didn't leak. Okay. If you uh, if you uh, rough it up you know with a little sandpaper. Yeah I did. Wow, that's, that's oh it is a wood fire. 
I just smelled the smoke. Yeah, I just just got it now too. Which I think I just gonna do that. If you guys it, I'll get it. <laughs> Fall in for the camera. Pardon? Fall in for the camera. <laughs> uh, action shot. He said the, the long edge is like a promenade. It kind of is. There's a trail there from the bears. Yeah. You go a few feet back from the edge, it's really stable. Right over there, there's ripples of light moving across the trees. Oh, yeah. See it? Yeah. You want a hand? Oh, okay. Now the water current will take that there. It's not likely to move but it. The wind's going the other way, though. Yeah, but if it's big in the water, the water will carry it against. That's a rapid. Oh, I wonder what polarized looks like. What are you, one of those Canadians? One of them there are Canucks. Canuck is a hockey player, isn't it? No, no, I think it was named after you. That's just a little cool name for Canadian. No, let me see. I probably should have brought a rope with me. I think it's a Canadian hockey player. That was the yearly yarrow harvest, or half of it.